morning. Mary Manchin, class of 2011, who has worked on shows like Top Gear and Supernatural, was recently selected to be a member of the Producers Guild of America. So for Top Gear, I was the post producer. For Almost Paradise, I was the supervisor slash head of post. Uh, the head of post literally two days before I got there quit. So then I kind of had to take in his job um, because they couldn't find somebody quick enough. Bridget Green, another ESM alum, has also been working out in Los Angeles. Yeah, I actually, I got hired after Bridget uh, on Supernatural. I coincidentally had taken her role as she went. <laughs> And then, funny enough, when I was working at um, a, a post house doing advertising, I was working with her while she was working at Hulu. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. After graduating from ESM, she stayed close to home to prepare for her career in Los Angeles. When I went to SU, I studied animation, and um, from there, I was essentially the guinea pig that they had created, one of the guinea pigs, for going to um, film festivals and networking, and I met a group that they introduced me to called the Creative Mind Group. And they chose me as one of 25 in the world to go network at the Cannes Film Festival. And uh, during SU, I had designed and developed my own app. And so that was how I pitched myself while I was there. And I got job offers there, which then led me to L.A. Like I had gotten the job and I had to move out here in like two weeks. And then so came over here. The company was small at that time and created a position for me to be a junior VFX artist. So then I was working on um, Walking Dead, Flash, Gotham, Arrow, like all the superhero stuff. Not only does she currently work for Disney+, Plus, Hulu, and ESPN, she also worked at Netflix. There, because I had done so many shows and I knew the post process from working at, on a show, they brought me on to do all of the Netflix's marketing. So from there, I would be in charge of the graphic designers, the editors, the mixers, and be essentially the point person for Netflix to make sure that they approved everything and we would localize in 25 different territories um, all the subtitles and the graphics and deliver all that in different formats. She credits retired art teacher Mrs. Canistrere's media design class to get her started. Canistrere, I have taken that sparked everything really. Canistrere's was a big one where it went from doing media arts and that's transferred in everything from VFX to character design that I've done to designing websites and apps. Cause that's was my first job was website design, which I got from her, her class. Um, yeah, pretty much your, your class in canisters were like the top ones that helped me get where, where I am now. Mary's work can be seen currently. Any ad that is, um, any ad that's in Disney, I've touched every single one. I did the Oscars, so I was working the Oscars. I've done Rookie, Grey's Anatomy, General Hospital, um, anything that's on Disney Plus. Loki is the one that should be coming up next. Winter Soldier. Um, <laughs> Boys lacrosse team lost to FM 21-6 in the sectional finals this weekend. Senior Gavin Hotelling led the team with two goals. The boys track team came in second in the sectionals as they had a total of 76 points and lost to JD as JD scored 112 points on Friday as well. 
Rocky L won the hurdles and the triple jump for the team. The Suns are heading to the Western Conference Finals as they sweep the Nuggets in four games as they won Game 4, 125-118. Chris Paul had 37 points in the victory for the Suns. The Milwaukee Bucks tied up the series this weekend as they won Game 4, 107-96. Giannis Antetokounmpo had 34 points in the victory for the Bucks. There will be no weight room open today as well on Monday. And I'm Tanner with your sports. She wants you to know that you never know who might help you to get a job. Because I was trying to sell my art and this guy just kept talking to me and talking to me. And at first it was kind of like getting to know my art and then it became more interviewee. And I didn't know, like for me, I'm trying to make sure nobody steals my stuff and like, take care of transactions and he he called me out where he was like are you sure you want to be a producer like shouldn't you be doing such and such and I was like you know what not for nothing but who are you to tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing and he's like I'm an exec at Imagineering and I was wondering if you would want to work for me in the future and I was like oh oh hi <laughs> Thank you to all who is watching. For myself and everybody on Spartan News, have a wonderful day.